Now, a couple of weeks ago, I didn't think that I would be making this video or doing the work that I have been doing this week. I had a clear plan of doing A-level videos every day, so there'd be summary videos for things like AQA electricity. You can find all the kind of latest updates on YouTube. And I had a very clear plan about what I'm doing. And that will still happen. I'm still going to be filming lots more A-level stuff in the run-up to the exams. I've already made lots and lots of stuff for GCSE. But then this whole coronavirus kind of thing kicked off a bit. And lots of people are maybe planning about what might happen. And we're talking about planning, not this is set in stone. But if you plan for something and it doesn't happen, then it's not really a, a problem. But if it does happen, you're ready. So the plan that we're putting in place is for if your schools were to shut. Now, if this happens, it's because of public health in England. The government are looking at the scientific advice about what's best to kind of stop the spread of this virus at the moment. And if schools are shut, that means you're going to have to work from home, which is fine because this is the best time ever that you can work from home. There are so many more videos out there, more websites, ways for your teachers to interact with you that have never existed before. But the thing is, I know it's quite difficult to actually film a video, to kind of set it up, to plan it, and then actually get that message out to students. I mean, if you've seen some of my, my, some of my live streams, they haven't been that good, and it's taken me a long time to learn how to do that. So the worst case scenario is that your school shuts and you have to stay at home what are you going to do to make sure that you don't get behind before your exams? Because your exams are still going to happen at some point. Okay, now uh, you can obviously just blame everything and therefore not do any work, or you can actually be the one who kind of takes control, works hard, and actually by being at home, you can kind of set your own time, uh, and I suppose set your own rules in a way, work really well independently, like you would be doing over the Easter holidays, which are coming up, or even in your study leave. So um, myself and some other teachers on YouTube, we've come up with a plan to really help you. Now let's have a look over here. Uh, the first page here is on the A-level website um, and I've got on the page here the kind of uh, the government advice which is always updated daily and also at the moment I've got a statement from Ofqual, they're the people who do your exams and it's basically uh, what the latest advice is. So that's the kind of bright yellow alarming stuff but what I've got here is my weekly timetable of lessons that I will deliver. So the plan is on a Sunday I will plan five lessons for the week for GCSE, five for A-level. And then that means you can see everything at the start of the week. So you know what lessons are gonna be coming up each day. So there'll be a lesson for Monday, a different lesson for Tuesday. And again, some of this stuff is uh, maybe material that you've seen before. So hopefully by this stage in the course, it's revision. Um, but sometimes you might not be sure about things. And again, I'm gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna plan it out for the first week, but I will listen to your feedback about what you want me to do lessons on. There's no point in me doing lessons about stuff that you know already, or maybe you're really happy with. You want to help with the things which are gonna get you the most marks in your exams. So um, there will basically be a different lesson every day. And if we look at the GCSE site, we can see what that might look like. So perhaps on a Monday, there might be a lesson about atoms and isotopes and how we represent them. So a bit of a brief description over here. Uh, when you actually click on Monday's lesson, there's then going to be three aspects to it. About, a bit about learning, a bit about practicing, and then a bit of a review. So this is kind of replacing your normal teacher. And um, again, it's not as good as you being able to ask questions all the time to the teacher who's helping you with the work in the class. But compared to what else out there, this could be a really good solution. It is difficult to make online videos. It is difficult to do live streams. And so hopefully what I'm going to be doing is kind of spending the time on that um, to kind of really help you as much as possible. So the first one, um, this one here as an example lesson, um, is basically a page on the website because I've made over a thousand videos for GCSE and A-level physics in total. There are videos there that will help you and I know a lot of you already have subscribed and it's helping you and obviously there's lots of people who finished their exams and it helped them several years ago. So one of the tasks might just be to have a look at the page. There's then a video which has some of the explanation um, and what I've added to the GCSE site are lots of quick questions. So once you've seen the video, you press on the quick question and it asks you to identify the full statement below. So in this one here, uh, we say that, um, here we go, uh, neutrons are negatively charged. That's the incorrect statement. And when I hover over it, that kind of disappears. The whole idea here is that you then got four statements which are true and therefore that reinforces the knowledge. So there's about 500 quick questions on the website for you to have a look at. Okay, now um, once you've done that, there's also some examples. So there's a, maybe a chance for you to see an example, um, determine how many protons, neutrons and electrons there are in the following, in these three different isotopes. And if you watch the video, there's then a work solution. Now that's gonna be pretty useful. Let me just shut down that window. Um, there's then gonna be some practice, and this is a worksheet for you to work through. So it's some guided questions. 
I've got it on here so that you can see it in advance of the next bit, which is the review. And that means even if you don't have a printer at home, because I appreciate lots of people just can't print out everything, um, you know, because there's so many notes that your teachers might be trying to give you. So what you can do is just look at it on your mobile phone and then answer it on a piece of scrap paper so you've actually written down the answers. This is absolutely vital for both GCSE and A-level. You've got to spend the time applying that knowledge and getting better at answering that question about recalling what you need, processing it in your head, and then kind of getting it onto that paper. So there'll be some questions for you to have a go at. And then finally, in the review phase, what I'll be doing is a daily live stream. So for GCSE, this will be 10 o'clock every morning. For A-level, it will be at 12 o'clock. During the live stream, uh, there's a chance for me to go through some work solutions. So it might be the, the questions that I've set you already in that lesson, or it might be some exam papers, but basically work that you know it's out there and that you've had a go at, and I'll be going through my work solutions to that. Obviously, during that time, I'll be able to answer any other questions that people might have. So maybe there's a lesson on atoms, but it then brings up questions about other isotopes, about radiation, about half-life. Whatever it might be, I can try and respond to those questions during the feed and actually answer the stuff that you might find difficult, as well as other kind of general questions about physics. Um, and then afterwards, what I'll be doing is I'll be putting the live stream onto the website here so you can catch up. Say, for example, you were doing something else that morning, um, then that meant that you know what Monday's lesson is, you've got the work there, and you can see the live stream whenever you want to on catch up. So that can be quite useful. And I'm going to be doing that every day. But there's no point just learning about physics. I mean, it is pretty important, but there are other subjects you need to have a look at as well. So what uh, myself and some other YouTube teachers have done is we've got this kind of stopgap academy. Now, everything is changing at the moment, but basically this is the place to go to to find your daily schedule of what's going on. At the moment, uh, we've got a, a chemistry lesson in the morning, followed by my physics lesson, and then Primrose Kitchen's gonna be doing a bit more maths after that. After lunch, I'll be doing A-level physics while we've got uh, GCSE geography, then there's gonna be some GCSE English and also some A-level chemistry later on. There will be some biology added in as well. Things are evolving every day. So, what can you do? Uh, first of all, don't panic. Just make sure you keep washing your hands and that will protect not only you, but other people around you. Uh, secondly, um, preparing for this isn't a bad thing because it's just the revision you're going to be doing anyway. Um, what you can do to kind of keep updated is just follow some of the links beneath uh, me in the video. Make sure that you subscribe to me uh, on um, Instagram as well um, so you can stay updated with things. Follow Primrose Kitten, uh, Stacy. follow Mr B. You know, keep up to date with what we're doing. And we're going to be changing this and see how things happen because we don't know how this is going to work because this is something that we didn't plan for a few months ago and it's kind of last minute planning. Whatever happens though, there will be daily live streams on YouTube. There'll be daily help for you. And at the very least, I've got full websites with everything that pretty much everything that you need for the subject. So even if you didn't see a single one of my lessons, even if you didn't see any of the work that your teachers are, uh, are setting, you can still go to GCSE or A-level physics online, find hundreds and hundreds of videos all organized, as well as links to all the past papers that you should be doing, and that will really, really help you. So basically, don't worry. I know that if you work hard now, you can get a lot done over the next few months, and that means you'll be really pre well prepared for when your exams happen. Um, don't forget, of course, if you haven't really done so, make sure that you subscribe to me on YouTube, Make sure you have a look at both of my websites. And if you want to, and I think you probably should, is you can sign up there for full access to all the videos. It's only £10 for GCSE. It's less, well, it's, it's 9 99 for GCSE, and that gets you full access for everything. And it's uh, £20 or £19.99 for A-level physics as well. And I'll be using this money to kind of buy the equipment for live streaming. I'll be using it to pay for people to work with me to be filtering out comments and asking, answering questions during that live stream, because it's really hard to do a live stream and see hundreds of questions whizzing by. So I need people here to help me and therefore I need to pay them to spend their time doing that. So your money uh, is going to a good cause. Hopefully I've not bored you too much, um, but yeah, um, I'll see you again soon and there'll be a new video every day, but keep an eye on the website for, for the latest updates. Thank you very much.